This is the Ryder and Lisa podcast. Brought to you by Yegg Property Pros. Powered by Real Broker. Get a realtor who knows. Call the pros. What I learned this weekend is you got to be careful when you say, let me know if you need anything. Because sometimes people will take it literally and then they, they ask you for something and you got to pull through because you were the one that said, let me know if you need anything. Okay, what was it? So it was your daughter's 12th birthday party. You tried to make it. You were away for her 40th birthday. It's not her actual birthday till Christmas Eve. So you'll be celebrating with her at, at a later date. But she invited me. And I was like, I got to go. I can't let her down. Yeah. So I told her mom before the birthday, I said, you let me know if you need me to bring anything, okay? Listen, Charlie's mom, the most organized person, I didn't actually think she'd ask me to do anything. Oh, no, yeah, they. she always will. No, she won't. Yeah, she will. No, she won't. No, I'm telling you, if you ask, she always has something for you to do. Same with my, my sister. My sister's the same way. And one time she got a compliment from someone about it. They were like, I respect that when people ask you if you need anything, you ask for help. And I was like, should I start doing that? Because I'll start asking people to do things for me. If you respect that, I will ask you to do things. Anyway, so it's the day of the party. It starts in an hour. And I get a text from her and she's like, can you grab a gluten-free cupcake? So one of the kids at the party can't have gluten. So I'm like, yep, absolutely. You think you can find a gluten-free bakery on Ooh, a yeah. Sunday morning? True, tricky. So I stopped at a couple places closed, even though the Google said they were open. So I was mad about that. And then I remembered... Remember like three weeks ago when you, me, and your daughter Charlie went to Crumb Coffee Bar and we got that gluten-free cupcake? Yeah. I was like, please be open. Please be open. Sure enough. 8 a.m. on Sundays. Yeah. He, those women. Rise of course, and grind. Of course, it's a women-owned business. Of course, they're open at 8 a.m. on a Sunday. They know. They know that on Sundays there's kids' birthday parties and there's gonna uh, odds are there's going to be a gluten-free Cupcake needed. I don't know if their gender has anything to do with it. But I do, because okay. they get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, I was pumped about that. Sweet. So I learned that when you say, let me know if you need anything, yeah, yeah. you just might be needed. Make sure you uh, don't ask specific people that, because they will give you something every time you ask. Yeah, don't ask my sister. Yeah. I learned this weekend that skating on a lake is terrifying, even if... Uh, that lake is not very deep. There is something about movies we watched as kids. There was always a scene where a kid fell through the ice. It doesn't happen as often as those movies instilled it in yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. The fear. But, like, when you're skating and you hear cracks. You don't know. I mean, if I would have fallen through, I would have been, uh, like, just waist deep, probably. Oh, That's okay. as far out as I went. So where was this cabin? You went to a 40th birthday and you all went skating. Yeah, Sylvan Lake. And because it's a shallow lake, it okay. froze already. So I know some lakes in Alberta aren't ready to skate on yet. No. But this this one is. The Give us your best help if you were in the water. What would you sound like to your friends? across? Would they be able to hear you? Well, yeah, because we a were strong all like, enough skating voice? together. I could have just been like, help. Oh. That would have probably worked. But it is still terrifying when you can hear the cracks. Remember those scenes in movies where the kid would fall through the ice but then they wouldn't be able to make their way back to the hole that they created. So it's just, just their hands. Swimming. Yeah. Their hands pushing up on the ice. Come on. Like, why were movies doing that to us? Yeah. I mean, that could have happened. Yeah. It didn't, though. Luckily, I'm still here. Seven somethings. It's Ryder and Lisa's top seven at seven. All right. I just found something I got to slip in as an honorable mention. I'm digging into the top seven stalking stuff for ideas for the man in your life. Uh, these are badass. MLB game used baseball bat bottle openers. I know that's a lot of words. Sounds like something that would just be lost at the bottom of a junk drawer next. No, 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 no. They're game used baseball bats that have been repurposed into bottle openers. That's Oh, that's kind of cool. And it shows like what team and what game the it's bat not a was scam. used on. No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Well, it could be. That's expensive, though, for yeah. stocking stuffers. That's yeah, 135 bucks. How do the elves get a hold of those at the workshop? Just got to ask them for them. All right. They'll make them. Uh, coming in at number seven, we have something called skirtin slipper socks. Now, uh, there was a guy on the trip I went to this weekend for my buddy's 40th birthday. went to a cabin. He had the nicest slippers, like leather slippers, and I was jealous the whole weekend. 
And so I started looking for slippers. Now, these ones specifically, you can roll up and put in a stocking easily. Mm. But they do have the grippy bottoms as well, which is important. I'm curious how many of our listeners are actually dedicated to slippers in the house. You think you are going to wear them? But, yeah. do you, but do you? People that get in the game, I think, are go into it strong. Okay. I feel like my They feet... just become slipper people. Yeah, then your feet are always sweaty. Yeah, yours specifically, for sure. You got stinky, sweaty feet. At number six, Astro AI Digital Tire Pressure Gauge. I often will look at my tires and be like, I think they're fine. This list seems specific. Yeah, I found specific things. For you. Well, yeah. What is this thing again? An it, AI tire pressure? Gauge. It'll just tell you how much air is in your tires, so you know if you need to put a little more air in them. When you're talking about like gas mileage, mm. what you're getting out of your vehicle, that's a huge component. To you it. know how I know when so, I need air in my tires? When someone tells me I have a flat tire. Exactly. At number five, uh, this is a little combo pack as we're st- Talking about stuffing the stockings of the dude in your life. Craft barbecue sauce and a butcher shop gift card together. Then they can get their barbecue sauce, go and pick a specific meat for it. Use it all at once. What? You just hate my just list? Rider, this is just what Ryder wants. That's literally what we said we were going to do here. What about everyone that's contributing on the text line? What about Eric who says, I want batteries, Ryder? No, that's fine. You can also just go buy some batteries. Stockings are supposed to be things that you wouldn't buy for yourself necessarily. Like, Is there any chocolate on this list? Number four, the nose hair trimmer. There's a good one from Musinka. The fact that you still don't own one. Yeah, been waiting. Alarming. At number three, something that I've added to my life over the last year that I would highly recommend. Deodorant? No, uh, a Stanley mug. Oh, yeah, you love your Stanley. Yeah, I drink a lot more water because of it. You got to be careful, though, because that's how you get lip wrinkles. I'm sucking on a straw all day, every day. At number two, now this is a very good one. Everyone who has somebody in their life that likes a clean vehicle, you need to get this new cleaning gel. Oh, the big, it looks like Silly Putty. Yeah, and it sticks in all the cracks and just pulls out all of the, the dirt and the grime. There's one from Pull... Polidiki. That sounds that sounds inappropriate. Inappropriate, but that is the name of the company. Uh, that goes for like eight bucks online. There you go. That's a big one. I'm not getting you anything from this list. That's fine. And neither are the elves. Santa I don't care. is not paying attention. I'm doing this for the listeners. Okay, Lisa. I got you an individual wipe for your leather interior. Yeah. And it's been in the junk drawer for a year. So. Good luck. And at number one, all occasion socks. Mm. Don't just get the... Nobody wants to buy socks for themselves. Right. They want Santa to bring them Mm -hmm. socks and and underwear. One pair of nice dress socks with a little flare, some color, and then like the OGs, Mm -hmm. maybe one pair of really warm socks. Some ankle socks are always great. All occasion socks. Okay. There's the list. The top seven things for the guy in your life. Okay, so... um, over the next couple of days, I think we got to do a top seven of what kids are wanting to get mm-hmm. and women, mm-hmm. dogs. Mm. If your dogs are listening, get we're them not, to text in. We're not stuck at stuff and sockings for dogs. Why not? Because they don't know what's going on. Yeah, they do. Just get them a bone. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Someone online is using Ryder's photos on their Tinder profile. That mm-hmm. is a huge accomplishment yeah I, I was supposed to be offended i think and like hey don't do that yeah. but i kind of felt like it an ego nice. boost yeah i don't love the picture they chose yeah they could have done better so if anybody knows uh carlos who's 38 and using my pictures as tinder profile or maybe you've matched with him uh if you could just either report the profile or get his information so i can send him a better picture of me to use i love that you're 38 on Tinder. Mm-hmm. Because in real life, you're 41. That's also a compliment. But one day, maybe you'll level up and you'll be like me. What's that? Well, there's a fake OnlyFans of me. There's not. That's when you know you've Somebody made it. said that Ryder, once. Ryder, it's true. Someone told me that. Well, 
I don't have photo proof, but let me fire it up then. That's just what I was told. Somebody told me that they saw me on OnlyFans. I was like, wait, what? That's not me. Is someone profiting off of my face? Maybe I'll make an account then. You're going to go head to head with the if fake Lisa Evans. If someone else is making money, then I deserve to make money too. All right. All right. This is just your like low key way of telling us that you have OnlyFans? I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if it would be my name on the account. That's a good excuse, though, like when your parents are grilling you about it over the holidays. Like, did I hear you have an OnlyFans? You could say, I only did it because blank, 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 uh, lie, lie, lie. And here we are. Um, yeah, so if anyone does match with Carlo, 38-year-old Carlos, quote unquote, it's just please w- direct message him and say, there are better pictures. Yeah. Thanks, though. It's just the way the lighting is. It's just all on my nose, mm. which is not my best feature, unless you're into guys with huge noses. But well, it's like a weird cropped photo, too. And my teeth don't look very white Who's in it. Who's beside you? Do you remember when this picture was taken? I have no idea when that pic was taken. No. Nope. You look tired. Yeah. Carlos is tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Carlos <laughs> has been through it. <laughs> Every Monday, we start the show by looking at the uh, weather forecast for the week. Just something that I need to be aware of. I am speaking for myself. Oh, my gosh. It's something that I have to do because I do the weather updates on the station because you got that taken away from you. Ryder, I don't want to talk about why it was taken away from me. That was an honest mistake. Lisa was reading the Ottawa weather forecast because for some reason it had switched on her phone and she screwed up for months. And people kept on texting in being like, Lisa, this really doesn't seem right. People were yelling at me saying that they'd go to work without a jacket. Mm-hmm. And then there was like heavy snowfall that day. And I'd be like, I don't know what to tell you. Mother Nature does her thing. It doesn't seem to be a problem mm-hmm. that is my fault. And then, yeah, I realized it said Ottawa in the top. And I went, that's strange. I've never even been there. So anyway, that's why I do the weather around here now, is because I would never make that mistake for you. We are not going to dedicate a full minute of conversation to the weather. I think that's fair. It's abnormal Yeah. this year. The one thing I will say is I'm so happy my nieces and nephews and your daughter have not asked me to go to bargaining yet. You're such a grinch. My neck hurts. Yeah. They always make me go down with them. Yeah, that's the point. And then I get, I get an injury. What else would you do? Walk up with them and then just walk down? I... Look at like a real idiot walking down a hill? I just wait at the bottom. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I looked because I wanted to see if maybe we'll see some winter weather near the end of the week. The seven-day forecast is not saying that. Was the farmer's almanac correct? Well... Because we always... By we, I mean Ryder, always talks about it when it's first released. And I say that here's the thing about the Farmer's Almanac. By the time the weather that they're predicting happens or doesn't happen, everybody's forgotten what the prediction was. I feel like I remember. Yeah. And it was supposed to be harsh. It was, yeah. I'm just looking back to call them out. Mm -hmm. And it was supposed to be like uh, cold and with lots of snow. But that's also for winter, and it's not officially winter yet. Yeah, I have a feeling because it's taking so long to get cold, we're going to have a brutal February, like January, February, maybe even into March. According to the Farmer's Almanac. We're not trusting it anymore. Why are you even bothering? For the Christmas holidays, the week of December 17th to 25th, uh, 25th, snow showers turning very cold. And then showers, then all the roads are going to be bad. December 26th to 31st, sunny and frigid. And then uh, January 1st to 10th, flurries and bitter cold. So Sun- they're calling for an ugly holiday, weather-wise. Sunny and frigid, that's the name of your autobiography. Do you get it? No. Okay. Does anybody get it? I think Sesame. I don't got think it. anybody yeah, it got really it. It was a really good burn. It wasn't good. It was good. It was terrible. $1,000. It's Ryder and Lisa's 1K Wordplay. Brought to you by Out of Bounds Restaurant. We are joined by Corrine. You've gotten through with 1K Wordplay in the past. How much money did you take home? 100 bucks. One away from 1000 bucks. That kind of stings, yep. doesn't it? It did. 
That's okay. Maybe we can do better today. Ryder, do you want to break down how Ryder and Lisa's 1K Wordplay works? For those who are perhaps listening for the first time, we play this every weekday at 7.50. Kareen is going to choose a teammate, either Lisa or myself, who will leave the room and not be able to hear anything that happens in round one. When we give Kareen five words, she tells us the first word that comes to mind for each. We'll invite her teammate back in. They'll play the same game. For everyone that matches, it's 25 bucks. Hit them all, and it's a grand. Who is your teammate this morning? I think I'm going to stick with Ryder. Okay. Best of luck. You know the drill. I will start your timer. Was there a timer the last time you played? Yep. Okay. So you know, there's a little bit of pressure, but you've got this. Yeah. Kareen, what is the first word that comes to your mind when I say cheese? Crackers. Saturday. Sorry? Saturday. Sunday. Braces. Teeth. Slam. Uh, say again? Slam. S L A M. Slam. Uh, slam. Um, uh, hand. Recipe. Ah, oh, you know what? You didn't hear me. I'm going to give you the last word. What's what's the first word that comes to mind when I say recipe? Baking. I love it. All right, let's get your teammate back in. A little bit of leeway on a Monday. Ryder doesn't have to know. <laughs> I could see you scrambling at the end. <laughs> so I think I know what happened. What are you eating? Was there food in the hallway? What are you eating? Uh, there was like a nut mix. Okay. That sounds trustworthy. Ryder, what is the first word that comes to mind when I say braces? Teeth. 25 bucks. Woohoo! Cheese. Oof. Come on, Ryder. What would she say? Cheese. Ah, uh, macaroni? Crackers. Uh. I feel like majority of uh, people playing along would say pizza. I don't know. Oh. M- maybe not. Oh. That's okay. We got 25 bucks. Let's keep it going. What comes to mind when I say Saturday? Weekend. Sunday. <laughs> Recipe. Bake. She said baking. Can yeah. we give it to her? Yeah, we'll count 50 that. bucks. All right, let's try and get you to 75. Slam. Dunk. Oh. She said hand. That one was tough. Yeah. That one was tough. But hey, you still won. What did we win? 70, 50 bucks. Woo-hoo. Kareen, thank you so much for playing. <laughs> you enjoy your 50 bucks. And to everyone else listening, your next chance to play tomorrow morning at this time. Good luck. All right, so there's a game that uh, is making some noise online. It just seems to be recently a lot of people are posting them playing it. And uh, we have some suggestions on what it might be called. Wavelength is oh, one of them. Okay, Um. say what? Samesies. Get to the word. Figure out the word. I guess it can be named anything you want. But it's really fun to play with someone else. So we're going to do a round of it on the show. You think that uh, we're going to do all right at this? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. This is the Christmas edition. Of the game that has no name. I like samesies. Me too. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Santa. Well, now what? Well, it was the holiday theme. You made it too easy. That was obviously the first word. Ryder, I think we just made history. No. Ryder, that does not happen. We got to go. Ryder, why aren't you taking this seriously? Because it's with the theme was Christmas. What do you think? think So I think that that is mind blowing. (laughs) Now, what do we do? Just let's try it. Themeless. No. Yeah. No, we got to go. Absolutely anything. Fine. Three, Three, two, two, one. one. School. Three, Three, two, two, one. Teacher. Three, Three, two, two, one. Workshop. Three, two, one. Presents. Ryder, come on. Three, Three, two, two, one. one. Stocking. We're so close. 
Three, two, one, tree. What tree from presents under the tree? Kid? Uh, kids enjoy what, it. Well, yeah. Okay. Terrible answer. Okay. Kids and tree. What would the word be? Three, now? three two, two, one. Christmas. Decorations. It was right in front of you. Three, two, one. Star. Holiday. Three, two, one. Night. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, hey, Jesus was born at night. I think oh, we got I, this. I was picturing like K N night. So I don't know what I was gonna come Three, up with next. Three, two, two, one, one Mary. Manger. Oh. <laughs> Mary and Manger. Come on, we can do this. Now we're. I'm getting into a religious worldview, and you never went it. to church. I went to church. I went to a Catholic school. Thank you very much. Okay, then let's do this. We will nail it. Three, Three two, two, one, one Joseph. Bible. Okay, this next one, we're making it happen. Three, Three two, two, one, one. God. Santa. You, you went from Bible to Santa? Yeah, it's I was done clearly with that. the answer is God. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, so you said Santa and I said God. I think we know what the word would be. In, um, ready? Three, Three two, two, one, one. beard. Cross. Because Santa crosses things off the list, and Jesus obviously with the cross. <sighs> they both have beards. Yeah, that was a good one. I know. What did you say? Cross. Cross, cross and beard. Three, two, two one. one. Hippie. Razor. Hippie. I don't know why I pictured a hippie so this wearing is... a cross around their <laughs> neck with a big beard. This isn't going Wait, well. What was your word? Hippie and razor. Oh, okay, come on. Three, Three two, two, one, one shave. Come on, let's do this. Three, Three two, two, one. Shave cream. cream. Okay, we did it. I guess we are that so works. good at this game. We're so good at it. That was it. the worst radio we've ever made. We are streaming at play107.com. That is also where you will find the link for our holiday auction, which is shaking down right now. Yeah, you have until Wednesday to outbid everyone. And there are some awesome things on there. If you want, we can send you the direct link right to your phone. Just text mm. us and we'll send it your way. If you want food prep, like weeks worth of food prep from Gourmet Prep, mm -hmm. going for like 200 bucks right now. One of the ones I'm seeing that uh, is doing like quite reasonable mm -hmm. as far as the price, very reasonable, is a bunch of the ski passes. Ski passes. At uh, different places. And it can be family packs for the entire year, things like that. How about the RV storage? Yeah. There are a lot of gift cards you can use for that. There's home organization companies that are on there. They'll come and reorganize your entire garage, your pantry, going for like 80% off right now. Um, gift cards to Ikea, the Italian Center, skincare and hair salons, car detailing packages, hockey tickets. And yeah, what, it's sick. It is sick. And what I wanted to highlight, because I just can't believe how good of a price it is right now, DJ Quake who we all know and love here in Edmonton. He's an unreal event DJ. Yeah, he's got to be one of the top names in the city, if not oh, number sure. one. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, he's got a package on our auction right now. It's worth almost $3,000 going for 200 bucks. Imagine getting your DJ and social booth package for your wedding for only $200. Yeah, I don't. I doubt that it'll stay that low, but that is one of the ones right now that the price is astronomically good. But yeah. It's unreal. Ha having him in your backyard for an event you're putting on, for your Christmas party, for your wedding, like I said, your kid's birthday party. Or your, like, you throw your own birthday parties, and they're over the top. Me? Yeah, I could see you paying for your own DJ for your birthday party. I would. For the Especially for that price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I don't plan my own birthday parties. <laughs> anyway, if you want the link to the auction, just text us right now and we'll send it your way. Like I said, it's on until Wednesday. Yeah. And different Are closing you times. Are you winning anything? I've been outbid on everything. I'm leading on a few things. Uh, the landscaping packages from Green Tree Outdoor Living. I'm leading on both of them. What? They're $3,500 landscaping packages. And I just figured at this price, I'm... Currently, for both, I'm under a thousand bucks, and it's worth six six thousand dollars worth of seven. Your 
seven thousand dollars worth of getting your backyard redone. Yeah, for a grand. Yeah, it would be awesome because the dogs have absolutely destroyed it. Yeah. So, so this is how you know you can trust us when we're saying like check out this auction because we are trying our best to win everything as well. Uh, text in right now. We'll send you the link. What's the most you've ever won on a scratch ticket? Oh, I never win. Like two bucks, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, and then I lose it. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about scratch tickets, like if it's just two bucks, I don't want to go to the gas station and cash it in because I feel like I'm using more than $2 of gas to well, just get there. And honestly, I don't enjoy scratching them. Okay. It grosses me out. Uh, really? Yeah, like the sound of the scratching. Oh, I've never heard that before, yeah, but I, I it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy in New York who won $10 million on a no. scratch ticket. But get, get out. Get this. One year ago, he won $10 million on a scratch ticket. You're lying. That's his second $10 million win. I don't know. This guy knows something that we don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I don't trust this. The thing is, like, I feel like nobody would be happy for him. Other than, like, really close friends and relatives that might get, you know, money out of it. But everybody else is going to be like, again, bro? That's not fair. It's not fair. Exactly. Once you win $10 million... You should never be allowed to buy a scratch ticket ever again. Well, you're get, done. Yeah, well, you're all. Yeah, the amount of time you're wasting scratching that ticket when you got ten mil in the bank, like you could be doing so much more with that he's money. He's probably retired, so he's got lots of time to scratch. I guess, but uh, just ridiculous. Two ten million dollar wins in the span of a year. Tick me off. Joined by Adam, the executive director from the Christmas Bureau of Edmonton. Tell us about your amazing organization. The Christmas Bureau has been around since 1940. This year, we're going to be serving 1,800 hampers, and we're probably going to be sending out gift cards to over 10,000 families. So that will allow them to go out and and buy a a festive meal, regardless of what they're celebrating, what their background is. We just want to make sure that we're we're able to help as, as many people as we can and bring a little bit of joy to their table during the holiday season. In addition to the Hamper program, we also have a program called Adopt-a-Teen, and that provides a gift card to children aged 13 to 17. How can Edmontonians get involved with the Christmas Bureau of Edmonton? Christmasbureau.ca. People can go there and volunteer. They can donate. We're looking for people to come out and deliver hampers on December 16th. Again, all of that information is on our website. and uh, We're always looking for people to help uh, help us out during the season. Amazing. We're just so proud of uh, the work you've done. I, I've often said, Edmonton, there's no city like it for stepping up yeah. when uh, when others need it. And this time of season, there's uh, a lot of people that, that need the support, and uh, we're just thrilled that you guys are there for them. So thank you for everything you do. Well, thank you guys for your support, and, and uh, it it really it does mean a lot. And like I said, we, we can't do it alone, and, and it's uh, not only our... Uh, our volunteers and our donors, but it's uh, our friends like you guys uh, getting getting the message out there and, and ensuring that everybody knows the need. And, and you're absolutely right. The, this community is, is incredible and, and they always step up and, and help out. And, and th- I know that this year will be no different. The Ryder and Lisa podcast. Brought to you by Yegg Property Pros. Powered by Real Broker. Get a realtor who knows. Call the pros. Play 107.